Matthew 23, 23 to 39. Woe betide you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, Jesus went on. You tithe mint and dill and cumin, and you omit the serious matters of the law, like justice, mercy and loyalty. You should have done these without neglecting the others. You blind guides, you filter out a gnat, but you gulp down a camel. Woe well betide you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You scrub the outside of the cup and the dish, but the inside is full of extortion and moral flabbiness. You blind Pharisee, first make the inside of the cup clean, and then outside will be clean as well. Woe well betide you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You're like whitewashed graves which look very fine on the outside, but inside they're full of the bones of the dead and the uncleanness of every kind. That's like you. On the outside you appear to be virtuous and law-abiding, but inside you're full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe well betide you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you build the tombs of the prophets and you decorate the memorials of the righteous. And you say, if we'd lived in the days of our ancestors, we wouldn't have gone along with them killing the prophets. So you testify against yourselves that you are the children of the people who murdered the prophets. Well then, go ahead. Complete the work of your ancestors began. You snakes, you nest of vipers, how can you escape the judgment of Gehenna? Because of all this, Jesus concluded, I'm sending you prophets, wise men and scribes. Some of them will kill, you will kill and crucify. Some of them you will whip in your synagogues. You'll chase them from town to town. That's how all the righteous blood that's been shed on earth from the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Barakiah. You murdered him between sanctuary and altar. All that blood will come upon you. I'm telling you the solemn truth. It will all come on this generation. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who sent to you. How often have I longed to gather up your children the way a hen gathers up her brood under her wings and you didn't want me to. Now see here, your house has been abandoned by God. It's a ruin. Yes, I tell you, you won't see me again from now until you say God's blessing on the coming one, the one who comes in the Lord's own name.